With 2020 finally coming to an end, it's only right we direct our gaze to the much anticipated year of 2021. While so many industries don't know what's in store next year, when it comes to cybersecurity threats, we've made a few forecasts. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from cybernews.com. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's jump straight in. Prediction number one, ransomware. As this year comes to a close, ransomware is unfortunately making quite the splash, ending with a surge of attacks hitting prominent organizations across the world. This type of threat is becoming an industry in and of itself, capitalizing off the turmoil and upset caused by COVID-19. Small business attacks are even up by 40%, the highest number amid the pandemic. The most worrying factor of ransomware attacks is no target is out of bounds. We've seen the health sector hit time and time again, accumulating with the first ever ransomware related death in September. Ransomware can actually cause damage for a lot longer than we ever expected. For example, the notorious WannaCry virus that reached its peak back in 2007, still continuing to spread to this day all down to its self-propagating properties. Ransomware is quickly growing into a billion dollar business, one of the biggest threats to our critical infrastructure and unfortunately, we'll be seeing more attacks after the new year. For more in-depth information about our 2021 predictions, I'll link the article down in the description, so be sure to check that out. Moving on. In 2019, we weren't wrong when we predicted that the Internet of Things would play a huge part in 2020 attacks, as we saw more and more poorly protected IoT devices filling the shelves. Their biggest downside is that they can be used as a stepping stone for a cyber criminal to gain access onto home networks. Many of these devices are not secure by default and do not implement security by design. In 2021, we expect to see a huge influx in the demand for IoT devices due to smart offices and remote asset monitoring. Not to mention the pandemic and 5G networks forcing businesses to be more reliant on this type of technology. It seems the IoT device battle has only just begun. Next is Crimeware as a Service. Cybercrime as a Service has been the go-to for the advanced and even inexperienced cybercriminals looking to plan new attacks. In short, it's when cybercriminals work together by sharing services or resources. This type of service in 2021 will commercialize cybercrime even further, and we will see cybercriminal gangs and organizations solely profiting from the sale of these products and services as opposed to the targeted attacks they launch now. Our magic eight ball brings us onto number four, AI-based attacks. We warned about the dangers of the AI-led technology before, and I can assure you it doesn't end with Nicolas Cage, face swaps. In 2021, we will see the introduction of AI-based platforms made to perform malicious activities. We will see the rise of real-time simulated attacks as cyber criminals use artificial intelligence to improve their operations. However, as this technology grows and advances, so does the AI technology used for defense. So 2021 will be a race of time and a battle of the machines. We saw a rise of state-sponsored hacking this year, which only stressed that the loner perception some have of hackers is in fact wrong and dangerously naive. It has become a common occurrence for cyber attacks to have some form of state sponsorship. Russia is a prime example of this particular method, as we've seen accusations being thrown around a lot this year. Back in 2019, Microsoft itself reportedly warned 10,000 people that they had fallen victim to this type of hacking. These attackers' sole purpose is to gain their government's economic and technological advances, usually by gathering intelligence. If the past years are any example, we will see an increase in cyber espionage campaigns in 2021. Remember, knowledge is power. That's why you should subscribe to our channel for regular cybersecurity advice we post every week. And don't forget to like this video to support us. We can all agree that 2020 was a pretty sobering year. Many people are now learning that their online privacy, security, and anonymity are in fact a great value. And protecting these at all costs has now moved to the forefront for many. 2021 will be a time when nation state actors and cybercrime organizations will escalate their involvement and activity online. So be prepared. Thanks for watching. Until next time.